from Los Angeles to a worldwide audience, this is Boaz Power TV, where we take your life to the next level. Now, internationally known speaker and author, here's Boaz. Hi, welcome to The Power Show. You are part of The Power Nation, and I'm so delighted that you're here. Because here we help you improve your attitude, your relationships, your finances, and your career as we take your life to the next level. This is episode number 151 on Boaz Power TV, and I call this one The Name of the Game. I was visiting a client company sometime back in Fort Wayne, Indiana, when two of the executives invited me to join them for dinner at a nearby restaurant called The Cork and Cleaver. Maybe you've been to one of those in the Midwest. Soon after we were seated, a smiling waitress came by our table and greeted my two companions by their first names. Her name was Jeannie, and she turned out to be the most unusual and delightful waitress I've ever met. With a warm glow on her face, she introduced herself to me and asked for my name. She further inquired about where I was from and what I was doing in town. Within a minute or two, she made me feel very comfortable. That's what happens when we show genuine interest in other people. It's incredible. As Jeannie took our order and walked away, I asked my two companions about her. Is she always that friendly to everyone? I asked. Yes, that's why we come here regularly. She makes it her business to get everyone's name at each of her tables and then she refers to them by name every time she comes to the table, they said. Oh my goodness. Now, you know, having taught from the book How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie for over 20 years, I recognized one of the author's main concepts. He stated that to each of us, the most important thing in life is our name. To each of us, the most important thing in life is our name. Sure enough, when Jeannie brought our orders, she called each of my companions by name as she placed their order on the table. Then she said, and Boaz, here is your filet with fresh steamed asparagus and twice baked potato. Even though I teach how important using a person's name is, I could not recall a waitress. I couldn't. Going to such an extent to make a customer feel special ever in the past. Every time Jeannie came back to our table, she mentioned each of our names again as she inquired about our needs. As she tended to tables around us, she was doing the same thing. I could hear it. She was doing the same thing at every table with everybody's name. Not only was Jeannie winning friends, I uh, would wager that she has given better tips than any other waitress. Our group certainly felt that way. What a wonderful, special gesture Jeannie exerted, and it made me feel important. Isn't that what all of us desire, to feel important? I traveled to Fort Wayne to visit my client company on a regular basis for the next couple of years. I'll give you three guesses as to where I chose to eat and which waitress I requested every single time. You guessed it, Jeannie. She and I became friends and I inquired about her wonderful habit. She related the following. People are always impressed that I can remember the names throughout all of my tables, even with large parties. I'm continuously asked how I do it. I reply, I just try. It is important to me to personalize what I do. I want people to feel at home, welcome, important. Don't we all want that? I desire to serve the sweetest sound in the English language, their name. I recently shared this idea with the daughter of a friend who was a waitress in the San Diego area. She started doing the same thing. When she came up to a table of new customers, she would simply ask everyone's first name and make a little written chart, writing their names in the positions they were sitting around the table. Then every time she came to the table and placed something in front of someone, she would call them by name. As was the case with me, they were pleasantly surprised and greatly appreciated the special treatment. Her tips and the fun she had working both proved to be delightful. How much extra effort did this gesture actually take? Very little. The rewards, the rewards were amazing. Each of us in our daily lives, we meet many people. 
How much effort would it take to write down a person's name and use it a few times? All it takes is a little thoughtfulness. The gesture makes people feel important. Many of my nationwide speaking engagements are either at beautiful hotels or at lovely country clubs. There's always someone taking care of the coffee and water throughout my events. That person often helps with the luncheon arrangements. I make it a point to take a few minutes at the beginning of the day to meet this person, show genuine interest in them, and express my gratitude for them taking care of the group. In addition to their name, I ask a few simple questions to show I'm genuinely interested in them. Questions such as, where are you from originally? What brought you here? Or have you lived here all your life? Do you have a family? These are simple questions that make people feel important. What did you want to be when you were growing up? People love that one. At a recent event at a country club near Los Angeles, I did this with a nice foreign gentleman at the beginning of my seminar. Throughout the morning, during each break, I walked up to him, called him by name, and thanked him for taking such good care of us. After concluding the seminar and having lunch with the group for which I spoke, I left for the airport to fly to my next speaking destination. The leader of the group called me later that afternoon. He stated that the man I met that morning inquired about me several times in the afternoon. Where did the nice man go who was here this morning? The tall one with the glasses, he inquired. He was describing me and I was amazed at the effect I had on him. Since to each of us, the most important thing in life is our name. The same thing is important to everyone else. Take the time, write names down the moment you meet someone. Call them by their name regularly and see what happens. Positive, lasting impressions are indeed the names of this game. So here's the affirmation for this edition of Boaz Power TV. You may want to write this down. I believe it could be valuable. I take the time to learn and call people by their names. I take the time to learn and call people by their names. Thank you for joining me. If you like these messages and many people around the world do, please do me a favor and get five of your friends to go to my website and to subscribe to the free weekly broadcast of Boaz Power TV. Perhaps we can help them to benefit from calling people by their name. You are special. You are unique. You are destined for greatness. And I see it in you. You are a champion. Have a powerful day. This has been Boaz Power TV. To comment, see other episodes, or to subscribe to this free broadcast, go to our blog at boazpower.com. That's boazpower.com. We're here to take your life to the next level.